Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, I will discuss four important strategies to systematically prepare for IOQM. IOQM is the first level of the real mathematical Olympiads in India. There are three levels, IOQM, RMO and INMO. After INMO, students usually go to a workshop and then from there, six students represent India in the international stage. So IOQM is the first thing, the stage one. Lacks of students participate in it. In this video, I will share with you the time-tested strategies that our students have used, four most important of them, so that you can systematically approach this exam without any fear. The most important outcome of this process should be to learn beautiful mathematics and problem solving. So keep an eye for that. The first step is to have a strong conceptual grasp. There are many beautiful books out there. Some of them have some shortcomings. Some of them have some advantages. We always suggest that you focus on one book and complete it cover to cover. There are four areas of mathematics that are tested in IOQM. Number theory, geometry, algebra and combinatorics. The one book that we suggest is known as Challenges and Thrills of Greek College Mathematics. The collection of problems is really beautiful. Some of those problems are really hard. You cannot solve them at one shot. So, what I usually suggest students is this. Work on mathematics for three hours. One hour you devote to relatively more difficult problems. You can only do some experimentations with those problems. Maybe you will be able to solve only one or two of them in those one hours. These problems will also require additional help. So if you are enrolled in Chinta, you know that our programs are personalized in nature. You can always ask for recovery classes. If you don't know this, note it down. Recovery classes, apart from the regular sessions in your personal WhatsApp group, ask for recovery classes and get help on those super tough problems. You can also ask doubts in our software. You can also ask doubts in the WhatsApp groups. There are plenty of options. But recovery classes are like personalized sessions where a few students work on some beautiful problems with a faculty member. Ask for that personalized help. Okay. Complete challenges and thrills of pre-college mathematics from cover to cover. And apart from those conceptual problems, you will also need to practice Contest problems. I suggest three contests to prepare well for IOQM. These are IOQM past papers. There are not many of them, but earlier it used to be called PRMO papers. So check the link in the description for that. Second, American Math Competition and AMI problems. AMI is the American Invitational Math Examination, the second level of US Math Olympiads. And third one is SMO problems, Singapore Math Olympiad problems. Devote two hours to contest problems. So I hope you understand this general rule. Three hours every day, one hour for concept problems from challenges centrals of pre-college mathematics and two hours for contest problems. It's very important that you do both. You do not devote your entire time on any one of them. That's the step one. The step two, and it's extremely, extremely important that you attend all the problem solving classes. Last year, out of the 78 students who qualified for the Indian National Math Olympiad, the final level, 10 of them were from Chidda. We have been doing this for a very long time. We focus only on Olympiads. We don't work on other areas like JE and other stuff. 
we focus on olympiads so uh, we have fine tuned the entire process please take advantage of it iqm preparation has seven classes in chinta every week two of those seven classes are compulsory the concept class and the homework class five classes the problem solving classes they are the most important ingredients in the preparation the students who have taken the problem solving classes regularly they seem to perform really well in the final exam one more thing i have talked about it previously i'll say this one more time take the advantage of recovery sessions chinta is like a small gurukul where we are super focused on the personalized math olympiad training recovery classes is the personalized part of it moreover if you are in the premium version of the program you are also taking one to one sessions take advantage of the one to one classes as well that's extremely important because the questions that you were stuck with you need extra help on that make use of all the resources the second part the third stage the third step at the mock tests remember iqm is a timed contest so the most important part of preparing for a timed contest is time management so for time management i'll say a little bit more in step 4 but the first and the most important component of it is to take as many mock tests as possible i suggest that you take two types of mock tests iq mock tests and amc mock tests the american math competition mock tests i mean amc 10 amc 12 both types of mock tests are available at chinta ask in your personalized health center group for access to the mock tests make sure to give a mock test every week one mock test every week until the time of iuq okay now we come to the final step the step 4 this is one of the most important strategies for taking any exam not only iuq this is called positive feedback reinforcement strategy so when you get the iuq paper on the actual day of the exam or when you are taking the mock tests when you get the actual paper always look for geometry problems or algebra problems or combinatorics problems or number three one area which you are very comfortable with for example personally i am very comfortable with geometry so whenever i get a iq paper i actually look for geometry problems i look for all the geometry problems and i start with that not only that i start with the lower value problems small number let's say two 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 mark problems or three mark problems something like that instead of going into the tougher ones the reason is this our brain works in a very interesting manner if we are able to do a certain type of problems our brain thinks something positive about the entire experience and we become more alert more involved more engaged with the entire process this is sometimes called the positive feedback loop So first thing start with the area that you are comfortable with and start with the lower value problems in that area if you have more than one area let's say geometry and combinatorics for me then i will start with those problems first and the lower value problems first it's extremely extremely important that you do this and you will see a remarkable impact of it on your entire test taking experience I hope you like this video and you learned something from it. If you have more questions, ask in the comment section. Remember, I'll end this with this one reminder that if you are an internal student at Chinta, take all the problem solving classes and if necessary, attend the doubt clearing sessions. If necessary, ask for recovery classes. I'm sure this year our students will do fantastic job in IQM, RMO and IMO. We are looking forward to that. All the best. I'll see you in the next video. 